Hey, thank you so much for coming back and watching this week's Monday Must Have. It is on the LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder. So if you'd like to see me applying this, see my review, see if it's worth your cash, then please keep on watching. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, bookmark my page. I upload a video every single day of the week, plus I also do live streams every Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would love for you to be able to come on back and watch whenever you'd like. So I feel like with spring and summer upon us, um, everybody loves like a really pretty, like dewy, glowy look. I prefer matte foundation myself, but I do like some well-placed glow. And the way I do that is with highlighter. I love highlighter. I have a ton of highlighter. And I love trying out very affordable brands. So I had heard great things about LA Girl highlighters. Um, I did get like a little palette of theirs. Absolutely loved that. So I was able to get my hands on the LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder in 90 Watt. So um, just so you know, LA Girl is cruelty free. So is its parent company. So if you are a cruelty free um, gal or gentleman, well, then you would be able to use this. But is it any good? Okay, so you do get 0.19 ounces or 5.5 grams of product. Okay, love the packaging. Um, on the back it says LA Girl and Beauty. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Inspiring Beauty. Okay, so I think it's really pretty packaging. I like the gold. Um, there's no mirror, okay, but it's just a nice heavy duty plastic packaging, compact. So I do like that. Um, I'll swatch it for you. It's a very softly milled powder. Um, it is pretty compact in there, but it is a really pretty, kind of like a a light champagne, as I what I would call it. It's really, really pretty, um, and it, you can definitely build it up. Okay, but there we go. Um, um, I will put an Amazon affiliate link down below. They are like less than eight dollars. Um, they have a ton of shades on there. It does seem like the higher in wattage you go, the lighter the shade gets. So, like I said, I have 90 watt. They have like 100, 110, 120. They also have deeper shades. Um, there's like a beautiful copper. So, if you have a deeper skin tone, that I think that would look stunning on you. But once again, is it a Monday must have? We don't know until we try it on the face, right? Um, so. I have my little highlighter brush here, and I'm just going to go ahead and dip into this. Guys, there is not a lot of kick up. It picks up great on a brush, but you don't get a lot of mess in your pan, which is nice. Even though it does feel very compact, it's very, very tightly packed in that compact. There, it doesn't kick anything up, but it does come off great on a brush. Okay, obviously, I have a ton of makeup on. Obviously, I don't have any highlighter on though, so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply right here. So, as you kind of buff it into the skin, it just kind of blends in. There is a little tiny bit of shimmer in this. I mean, personally, I don't mind a shimmer, but just so you know, if you aren't crazy about shimmer in your highlighter, then this might not be for you, but there are no big chunks of glitter or anything like that. Um, it blends in beautifully with the skin. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it on this side. Really, really beautiful texture. Obviously, I'm going to be 34 next month. I don't have perfect skin. I don't have fillers or Botox or anything like that. So my skin has texture. It has wrinkles. But this formula doesn't seem to um, aggravate or enhance my texture at all. Um, I have a lot of large pores. I have old acne scars. I mean, it's just part of being human. So, but it definitely kind of lays on the skin very nicely where it doesn't enhance all that texture. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build it up because I want to show you. You can do very, very subtle. I know like this wouldn't be considered very subtle for a lot of people. But if you do like a really, really blinding highlight, you can definitely build it up a ton. Um, and I, you know, honestly, as you start to build, it can start to look a little bit makeup-y and a little bit cakey sitting on top of the skin. But if you do kind of just one or two layers, it's going to look gorgeous on the skin. Um, <laughs> blinding. 
very, very blinding. I mean, honestly, I would compare this to, like, Ofra. Maybe not the same formula. I think Ofra is a tiny bit softer, um, but the effect, okay? So the effect, after putting it on, you get that really blinding, um, very nicely textured highlight. Um, so if you want to try, you know, an Ofra highlight, but you're not sure if you would like how blinding or how much pigmentation is in it, I would definitely recommend picking up the LA, LA Girl um, Strobe Light highlighter. To me, it's the pigmentation, the payoff is very, very similar, but so, so stunning. Honestly, this formula is probably going to tie for me with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighting um, powders. I absolutely love those. These seem, the LA Girl Strobe Light seems a little bit more blinding. It seems a little bit more of a bang for your buck. So beautiful. Love that it's cruelty free. Really, really gorgeous on the skin. It just adds a lot of light and dew. And if you like that really, really wet skin look, then I would definitely recommend checking out the LA Girl Strobe Light powders whole bunch of shades. It is cruelty free, less than $8 on Amazon. And, uh, I really, really like them. They're gorgeous. They feel beautiful on the skin. Really, really just, I really, really love these. So yeah, um, I definitely recommend them. They are definitely a Monday must have. So there we go. I will link, um, what I'm wearing in my lips down below, just in case you're wondering. Um, but I wanted a really, really kind of nude, very, glam look today. So very contoured, very highlighted kind of look. So there we go. This is a winner. Absolutely love this. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. Beautiful, beautiful highlighter. Definitely recommend it. So there we go. Um, I hope you did enjoy this week's Monday must have. Don't go anywhere though, because we're not done. There's going to be another video starting here in less than a minute. So make sure you stick around for that. Plus there's going to be videos popping up all around you can always click on just in case you missed some. But if you did enjoy this week's Monday Must Have, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, share the video. Leave a comment down below. What is your favorite highlighter? High end, low end? I would love to know down below in the comments. And if you would like to, please feel free to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all at Budget Glam Babe. Um, yeah, I'll see you in about 15 seconds for another video. So I'll see you.